Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do factory reset your HP G62 laptop to factory settings that's running Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin this tutorial off by opening up the Start menu, just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And into the Start menu, you either want to type in Reset, or you can go through the settings menu as well and go underneath recovery but I think it's easier just to go in the start menu here and just type in reset and the best match should say reset this PC right above system settings left click on that one time to open up this screen here and now on the right side underneath recovery reset this PC if your PC isn't running well resetting it might help this lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows left click on the get started button right here so now we're going to have two options to are presented with, either keep your files or remove everything. So if you select keep your files, it says it will keep your personal files, however I would still suggest that you create a backup to an external media source. And the second option, remove everything, complete factory, reset, restore. And that's what I am advertising for the title of this video, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do a complete factory restore here. So we're going to have a couple prompts we're going to have to get through before we wrap this up, so just be patient. and then you're going to be prompted if you want to clean the drives as well. Now if you're going to be donating your computer or giving it to somebody else, I would suggest removing your files and cleaning the drive. However, if you're going to be holding on to this device, I would suggest clicking on just remove my files, which should be quicker as well. And then we're finally going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button right down here to begin this process. It will take some time, so please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select Not Now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, so our HP G62 laptop has been restored to a factory state, so at this point feel free to put any applications back on your computer, and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.